In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps of updating a CSS within Power Pages site. Now, what is a CSS? CSS is a cascading style sheet which applies the style to your existing web page. Now, uh, if you see in the interface, I'm in the make.powerpages site. Uh, I have the site called as Girish Silver. Let me edit the site. Uh, so once I edit it, it will open it in the design studio. And within the design studio, uh, I can uh, see the page which I have created called a CSS demo. So this page is blank, basically. It will uh, it doesn't contain anything specific. Uh, let me add a couple of, uh, say, say three column section and let me add a text. So maybe I'll just put a text called Australia and uh, United It's and I'll put it in the text color, say New Zealand. Okay, so I put three text. Uh, I'll just sync this configuration uh, and I'll preview this information. So if I'm in this page, CSS website, so I can see this three text written. Uh, now, what are the different ways through which you can apply CSS to your website? Uh, so on the left hand side, you'll see a styling option. When you click on styling, you'll see a panel which allows you to change the theme of the site. Maybe uh, if I select, say, say this theme, pink one, uh, and then the site will look like this. OK, I can change the brand color. I can change the background color. But what if this styling information is not sufficient? And if I want to use some sort of a CSS. So first, let me save this uh, with a new theme. And uh, say, let's assume if I want to change something Okay, over here. So if you see this theme here, there's a three meatball icon. If I click here. There is an option to manage the CSS. Okay. So I click on manage CSS and it will throw you an interface which will uh, uh, have listed uh, bootstrap.min.css, theme.css, and portal basic theme.css. Now these are the three default CSS uh, which comes as a part of the Power Pages site. Now, what if I want to say upload my own CSS? Okay. Now, as you see over here, I've already uploaded one CSS called as say template.css. Um, now, any CSS you upload over here, it says that your custom CSS will be prioritized over theme.css, but not over portal basic theme.css. So any CSS you put over here will override theme.css content and uh, portal basic theme.css will be at the top level. So that won't get overwritten. I'm in my Visual Studio code. I have written some basic CSS uh, with a class of G1 and G2 and put a color as brown and G2 as color as turquoise. So this is the uh, like basic CSS I have put. Now let me uh, do one thing. Let me upload the CSS. So I Upload the CSS. Uh, maybe I'll just go to desktop and I'll select the CSS. Okay. Now the CSS will get uploaded. And you see the CSS file is uploaded over here. I can move up the CSS. I can disable it. I can even edit the code. So let me disable this template.css for a while. So this icon appears. Once you disable it in some.css, you can edit the code and then this CSS, you can edit it in line. Okay. Uh, now that's fine. Uh, what I'll do is I'll first sync this content. Okay. Let it get synced. Now, if I go into my CSS file, it says the class is G1 and the color is brown. Okay. Now, in this page, I have this text uh, Australia. Okay, so if I select pages and if I select this text, okay, uh, what I can do is I can go into edit code. 
So if I click on edit code, it will open the website and open um, Visual Studio code. It's an online editor uh, of Visual Studio, uh, which will allow you to uh, So, yeah, so if you see here, I have, uh, I will just open this page and I'll say be here and I'll say class equal to a G1, okay. And I just save, I do a control S, this gets saved, saved come to the design studio and say sync so the configuration will get synced up and i'll try to refresh my page now as you see this color has changed for australia now why does change because i marked that p tag uh, mentioning the class as g1 and the g1 class is defined in my css as color as brown now there is another class G2. I can do the same thing. I will go here, US and say class equal to G2. And the change should get reflected. Okay. Now I'll also make one more change. Instead of uh, putting a class, I can say uh, maybe, let me put a div tag, okay? and call it as say let me put this new zealand inside this div tag and within this div tag i'll say style equal to color colon say blue wallet okay so what i'm doing essentially is an uh, defining an inline css for this text I'll save this. So I have two classes, G1, G2, and I have created a custom inline CSS for this text over here. Let me sync the configuration again. Now oh, it might take a while. Let me reload this page. Yes. And if you see here, this uh, content gets synced up. So the first two, it's coming from uh, the CSS defined in the file. And the last one is an inline CSS. So we can refer to a CSS file. And also we can put an inline CSS. And the styling gets reflected. Now, what are the other ways through which you can change the CSS in Power Pages? So if you go into the back end, I'm in web page under web page information i can put my custom css over here okay so i can type in say some value and then i can say color colon say maybe red okay and that's how i can define my custom css and this is specific the scope is specific to this web page only okay or uh, I can also define something in the content page of this web page as an HTML. So I can have those inline style defined uh, over here. Uh, other area where I can make some changes is uh, if I go into the web link set. So you can put your own custom HTML, so which will which can contain an inline CSS. Uh, another place is web template. So if you go into web template and if you select say header or a footer, the, you can define your own CSS and then you can render. So these are the multiple ways through which you can uh, uh, add a CSS text and uh, make your website look uh, more uh, like say uh, UI friendly as well as make it look aesthetically very nice. So that's it folks. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll come up with some more advanced concepts on CSS edits in Microsoft Power Pages in my next video. Thank you.